All right, so everyday people just like you and I are making thousands of dollars every single day off the TikTok shop. A lot of people do not believe this, but unfortunately it is a true thing because TikTok shop essentially just removes the tension between the buyer and the website. They don't have to go all the way over to a website, enter some weird information on a weird website, and then hope that their product comes in the mail. TikTok shop, people are assured that their product actually will come, and then that just drives conversions up a whole lot easier. Not to mention the buying process is a whole lot more easy as they can just click one button and then they're Done. The reason that a lot of sellers are moving over to TikTok shop is because of the easy access and the way to actually set up a store. Now you don't even have to build a website, run ads, or even have the product in hand. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can make money through the TikTok shop as a dropshipper. Let's get into it. All right. So first of all, what you want to do is simply sign up for a TikTok shop seller account. This is very easy. You just go over to uh, the website. This will be in the description down below if you don't want to go ahead and type it in. But again, it's very simple. Um, most of the time, like like I said, everybody's using it. So there's honestly not a lot of people signing up to it now, but if you're new to the game, then it's kind of easy. That being said, I'm on an incognito tab on it and they literally just have a login button. There's not even a sign up button. It's, it's funny that they, you know, obviously prioritize that more, but again, you got to go through all this just to find it. But what you actually got to do to make an account, you got to go over to the login section. We don't even have an account, but we're just still going to quote unquote log in. So again, you want to make sure that you are from these regions. They have seven different regions in Asia, one in Europe and one in North America. So of course, I'm um, just take a quick look at these and make sure that you guys obviously are watching this video from this region. If you're not, um, there are methods around it, but it's very complicated, which I will cover in another video. Uh, United Kingdom and United States. Most people watching this video, I'm assuming you guys are from the United States. So as you guys can see, like I said, there's almost no option. It's just to log in. You can either log in with your TikTok account. Um, I personally would not do this yet. I would actually just sign up for a seller account just with different separate information. So again, from the sign up section right here, this is where you can actually sign up with a TikTok account. But again, I personally recommend that you guys go ahead and start off with just your own information. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to you when we're done. Now, since I've already signed up for a TikTok seller account, it's not gonna give me the option anymore to make a brand new account. So with that being said, it's just some simple self-explanatory steps. You're just gonna have to go ahead and provide some tax information. I believe your ID, such as your passport or driver's license, and then talk a little bit about your business on what you tend to sell. And that's essentially it. Now the sign up process, is a little bit of a hefty process. You got to type in some information. So be patient with it. Obviously, you're not going to get auto approved like most people do. Um, just go ahead and be patient with it. But with that being said, once you go ahead and actually get signed up and approved, then we'll go in the dashboard. All right. So this is what your dashboard is going to look like in the seller center. This is just the test account that I do actually have um, for spare. Now, one thing that a lot of people want to go ahead and know is how many seller accounts can you open? Many people said that you can op open up multiple seller accounts. That's not true. Actually, you're only able to do two. Um, this is because, you know, most people, let's say the United States, they want to open up multiple seller accounts to have multiple TikTok shop affiliate accounts. This is not true. I would not recommend you do this only because you're only able to make a seller account with one of the different IDs. So there's a passport and there's a driver's license. You can have an account for each if you want to, but just stick with one. I don't know why you would need to. Um, but there are some other terms such as marketing accounts, sub accounts, but we're not going to get into that. So again, like I just said, this is very basic. Um, past seven days, like I said, I have not posted any products. This is just a dead account. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fulfill an order. So first of all, once you're on here, there are a couple things that you obviously want to look at. Now, first of all, we do have the order section right here. Very, you know, very easy to just navigate. You just click on whatever you want to do, add your tracking info. We have a uh, product section where you can just add a product. This is just a test product. And then through marketing, this is if you want to do, I believe, ads. Yeah, so th this is ads, live shopping ads. We don't really need any of this. Now for affiliates, um, this is another method I'm going to exactly show you how to make money with, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Live and growth is if you want to go ahead and go live for your business, but most people just want to sit behind a camera or not sit behind a camera. You guys just essentially just want to make money throughout there. So maybe live for another video. And then that being said, there's obviously a ca analytics where you can see how much you made. And then payments, which I do like, this is really cool. It's just like Shopify, essentially. You just see exactly, um, you know, how much is on hold. Then you just add your bank account. That is literally it. It's not too advanced, not too strict. But we're going to go ahead and get straight into the shipment options. So you want to go over to the products. And actually, not products. You want to go to orders. And then head over to the shipping options. Now, most of the time, it's going to give you two of these options. I'm going to go ahead and 100 recommend that you do the seller shipping. Through TikTok shipping, this essentially means that you're going to be printing labels through them. You're going to be buying labels through them. And 
you're going to be printing labels, essentially. They're wanting you to drop ship, or they don't want you to drop ship. They want you to ship orders from your house. We want to drop ship. We want to make money without having to do anything. So seller shipping, I, I don't even have to talk about it. This is what you're going to do. On top of that, they also preface this by saying 75% of sellers select. No, they don't. That's There's no way that's a real thing because most people are doing seller shipping. They want to drop ship. But from here, you want to go ahead and create a shipping profile. Now, it's not allowing me to do that, but it should look something like this. Now, uh, ship from, what you want to do is go ahead and type in your address. For me, I just typed in my city. It's saying uh, Pensacola, Florida. I don't know where the option is, but for you, it'll go ahead and just ask where you're going to ship it from. It depends on where you live. So if you live in the United States, pick a US warehouse. I'm pretty sure just gave me this by default. If you're in the UK, do UK. Because assuming that you guys are going to be using a, you know, a supplier from wherever you're from, let's say you're going to be using Amazon or eBay or Zendrop, whatever you want to use, make sure it's the... The warehouse is in the same place that you live in, obviously to avoid bans and restrictions and everything else. But that being said, there are three different shipping options. There's standard shipping, express shipping, and economy shipping. Now, what I want to go ahead and preface with you guys, I know I say this a lot. If you guys are drop shipping, let's say through Amazon, go ahead and pick economy shipping. Maybe your conversions might be a little bit lower because obviously the shipment time is going to be 11 days. Some people like it being a little bit shorter. But again, most of the time, if people are saving money on TikTok shop, which I will talk about a little bit later, how you can save money through economy shipping, it's going to be slower, right? But most people order anyways, because it's cheaper. It's kind of why Timu, Wish, um, you know, all these other Chinese websites, people order all the time because, you know, it's just, it's longer shipping. Okay. But they're saving money. So economy shipping is essentially what you want to be picking. Not only are you going to get, you know, more of a, bu uh, a buffer safety net, just in case your supplier does not ship out in time. You know, economy shipping, um, you can still make it free. Now, I believe in the next coming months or so, or I believe, I think it's already past 2024, they're not going to be subsidizing your shipping costs anymore. They used to be giving out, like, if you had $5 shipping, TikTok would still give you that $5, so you can obviously make more money. I don't think that's a thing anymore, but on top of that, people are getting more competitive. Nobody really likes the button of seeing $6 shipping. Um, $10 shipping, go ahead and just make it free. Why not? It's already economy. It's already taking a long time to ship. Just make it free because why not? And for if you're in the US, like I said, make sure you go ahead and just select every single state besides uh, where was that? I believe we have two different excluded ones. Um, all right, wait, where was it? I had two different ones. The ones that you should not ship to, first of all, there should be an exclude. Yeah, so Hawaii and Alaska. Now, the main reason why almost nobody does this, one, shipping there is relatively way more expensive. Two, a lot of the times it's going to take a whole lot longer because most of the time it's going to be shipped through, you know, cargo boats because, you know, they're shipping tons and tons of parcels to these people. It's going to take a whole lot longer than what the shipment actually says. On top of that, you're going to have some weird whack tracking numbers that you will not be able to input into TikTok. So if you're, again, like you're from the United States, just don't do Hawaii and Alaska. Now, if you are trying to do this worldwide, it does apply to you. Just make sure that the shipping times you can base off the top of your head will not take more than 11 days. Shipping is very important, everybody, because if you're going to go ahead and ship out an order and, oh my God, there's a car in the background. If you go ahead and ship out an order, like it says, delivered within 11 business days, if it takes longer than 11 business days, and this is for every single order, you're going to get banned. TikTok is extremely you know, strict, crucial. They want people to go ahead and be happy, have a good experience, and obviously come back to TikTok shop. So if you as a seller are doing a terrible job and you're just not doing a good job, you don't have a good supplier, you're not fulfilling orders fast enough, no point. They're going to boot you off. Sorry, you can't really do much about it. And I don't, I don't know how appeals or unbans work at the moment because I haven't been banned. But simple as it is, make that and you just click submit. Some regions have no selected areas. Yeah, my bad. So you can just select everything besides these two. And then you just save your shipping template. Now through the shipping template, it's very easy. I would keep it at free shipping, economy, nothing really else that you can do. But from there, it's very easy. Now listing a product is something that probably most people mess up on. Everybody wants to know, how do you drop ship on TikTok shop? Now, there are actually two different ways now. I don't really know who knows about this, but I figured it out a couple days ago that you can actually make sales on TikTok shop without affiliates, without videos, without even making the, the videos. You don't have to have it in hand. You don't have to do anything. Do you guys remember Amazon or eBay where you list a product, you relist it with the title, and you get sales through organic traffic? 
TikTok is now very similar to that. You can go ahead and actually search a product on the TikTok shop. We've all done it before. We've all searched for something, regardless if we want the product or not. And sellers, sure, the top sellers with 50,000 sold are there. If you scroll down just a couple more, you can actually see some listings with not even 10 sales, and they'll still be there on the top search list. You can still make sales, let's say, just if you have a, have a cheaper price or better pictures. So that's essentially why drop shipping on TikTok is very cool, because not only can you make sales just like that, on top of that, you can also do this with video and affiliates. So listing a product, all you have to do is go over to the add new product stage. Okay, so on the add new product section, it looks a little bit lengthy, kind of looks like an Etsy listing and whatnot, but this honestly looks very similar to eBay, like I'm saying. So again, if we've ever listed products before, they give you a layout right here where you can say brand, content, score of application, or scope of application, product type. You can do all these things. They're giving you a recommendation, but here's the thing. We're going to be smart with it. If we want to make more sales without really doing much, just organically get our listing out there. We want to go ahead and just copy and paste a listing that is already existing and proven to work on a website such as eBay. eBay is probably one of the easiest ways to go ahead and get sales if you want to be a dropshipper. Of course, it's saturated, sure, but you know people are still making sales. So what I suggest you do, go on eBay, literally find an everyday product that is not name branded, by the way. If you pick a brand that is with your name, it's just like saying, hey, I sell Apple phones. You don't have a license. You, we have no idea where you're getting it from. We don't know if they're reps. All this sort of stuff, you cannot put a name brand. So do something generic, something that's relatively cheap where an impulse buy can go ahead and just get captured. So we can just type in something such as cute jewelry you can kind of surround it around the season that we're in so it's february Val valentine's day has already passed so maybe something saint patrick's day and again this is the same thing for this method we're just going to go ahead and be listing a bunch of products in you know in not even in hopes people are searching up products so it's very easy now this one has eight sold let's see we're just kind of looking for some general stuff now this right here looks good but again from crazy dog shirts that's a brand we do not want that we're going to go ahead and just kind of look at, let's see, buy it now, accept that offers, free shipping, free returns, so buy. Yeah, so we're just trying to look for a listing that's essentially dropshipper with hundreds of sales on it. And I don't know. There are so many listings on here. You kind of have to look around, see what's going on. There's an 18-inch wreath. Bro, who's, who's buying those things? That's crazy. I want to find one with a lot of sales, so... Sales actually best selling. My bad. Let's go over to this. So you know, product research. Like I said, it's it's stupidly easy because you don't have to look around. You just literally copy and paste products. Um, majority of these people watching this video, if you guys assume that we're going to be listing like a drop shipping product, like an actual like wow factor type of product, you can also do that because if you're planning to make videos, blow up on it, and you know, make sales just like that. Definitely possibility. But for most people out there, they want to be lazy. They just want to go and go on sites like eBay. And then just pick something straight out of the box without having to research for product demand. So, you know, you just got to look around, find some good products, but I'll get back to you whenever I actually find something. Okay, I'm not having the best day today. I just spent 30 minutes recording the rest of this video and I forgot that I did not unpause the recording. So I am, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to leave that out of the picture. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to focus on this. But look, so oh my, I found a product, okay? This is $10. It's kind of cheap, but... They have already 23 sold and you know, it's unbranded. It's unbranded. Or it's unbranded. It, there's no name on it. So essentially you can sell this copy and paste a title. So the way to list this product, all you got to do is just go to new product. And then from here, like I said, the brand content scope of application product type, we don't need any of that. Do not worry about that because we are not the brand. All you guys need to do is go over to the product name, literally copy and paste this. Now for the category, it's going to automatically select a category. There you go. And then from here, you guys actually need to spend some time. Now from here for the no brand, click on no brand. And then for product attributes, like I just said, simply enter all this information. Should not take you long. Now for media, like I said, copy the pictures, just download everything. It's, it's very cheap, inexpensive product. So it's only for pictures. But like I said, there are a bunch of people looking at this product. So it's definitely something in demand. Pick something that is seasonal. Pick something that you will be able to get sales in a relatively short period of time. And then from here, product description, same exact thing. You just scroll down to the description of the product, copy that, put it in there. Now for the bottom, like it's just said, I put it at 
make a two to three X markup. That's essentially what I would do. And then from there, all you gotta do is just click submit for review. Now, again, like I said, make sure that it's not a name brand product that it says Apple on it or, you know, designer, Gucci, whatever. Don't do that because one, they could consider it as reps. Two, you don't have a license or, you know, like a permit to actually resell those type of things. Same thing with Amazon. Like you can't, like on eBay, they're not really strict about you like literally relisting name brand products, but on TikTok, they very much are so. So especially with all the listings going through review, you're not going to get approved for it and you might get your account closed down. So please be careful on exactly what you do to actually list the product, especially if you're going to be listing a whole bunch. Please keep your eyes open for listings just like that. Now, once you actually go ahead and list the product, everybody, hopefully I already talked about the... Um, the shipping. Yeah, I already talked about the shipping. Now, what you guys can actually do to fulfill an order, once you actually do get an order, something that's crazy to me, first of all, is that they obviously had this banner for everybody to see. It says, you are at zero to 100 orders today. They're literally saying that, hey, if you get over 100 orders, then you know, you're going to have to wait for tomorrow for it to process. That is absurd, because if they're having this on the national, like, everybody can see this type of thing, that means there's so many people getting more than 100 orders. You not know, realize... If there is like a profit margin of five, ten dollars, people are earning five hundred to a thousand bucks a day, and they're just casually saying it, like, oh yeah. So that that just blows my mind. So right here we have a product sold right here. And there's a whole lot of data that you can go ahead and look at. Um, we obviously have the sales, the traffic post-purchase. Traffic is something that I definitely want to go ahead and take a look at because you can see that there's a big surge. Even though I have four visitors, you can see the click-through rate and exactly how they found it. So I obviously found it through my own content, and I do like this. Now, for fulfilling order, like I said, go back to products. And then for the bottom half right here, it's going to say tracking info. As long as you set up your shipping templates correctly... It, it, right, yeah, right here it says seller shipping, awaiting shipment. And like I said, you want to go ahead and ship this out or at least get a tracking number within the first three days of getting the order. Because if we're an economy shipper and we have three days, so let's say get the tracking number in case the seller is slow, we have eight days, you know, and obviously we want to get the shipping extremely quickly. So we want to make sure that we're good. Go over to add tracking info. And then from here, you need to enter the tracking ID. Now I'm going to save a lot of people here. I'm going to save. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to save you guys your accounts. Whenever you go ahead and enter the tracking number, you want to enter a standard tracking number that is from UPS, USPS. If you're doing it through Amazon Logistics, they're sometimes going to give you a TBA tracking number. Um, TBA tracking numbers are, again, like I said, through Amazon Logistics. It's a way of tracking your packages just a little bit differently. And through here, I don't know why, but whenever you put that in the tracking ID they say goodbye. It's almost instant. They know you're drop shipping. They know you're not doing it out yourself. They know you're not doing the work. So with that being said, do not enter a TBA tracking number, no matter what, if it's a normal number, like one with right here, that's through UPS. That's perfectly fine. If it's through USPS, perfectly fine. But TBA tracking numbers are not good. What I personally do, I just like to go to track taco through here. If you have TBA tracking numbers, you go ahead and import the number, import where it's going to the exact address, the city, uh, the date that it's expected to arrive. I would also add a day on top of that for, you know, to make sure that it obviously gets there safely and in the actual timely manner. In case the product gets to the person's house quicker, they're going to say, wow, I got the product quicker. I'm going to leave a good review. But through Track Taco, it's relatively inexpensive. And you can go ahead and literally get those tracking numbers actually inputted. Because like I said, keep in mind, if even if you do not provide a tracking number, but the product gets delivered, they have no way of tracking it. So if you do not put a tracking ID and it does not show in the system that it's been delivered before 11 days, you're screwed. So please be careful with this. It's kind of a very scary method. So I would start off with Amazon or eBay as your supplier. Then eventually you can move into the big donks such as Zendrop or CJ Affiliate where it's a little bit more you know, prestigious. You can talk to suppliers one-on-one -on -one and kind of figure out. But from here, that's essentially how you fulfill an order. Now, the last thing I want to go ahead and talk about is the affiliate section. Now, like I've said, we've had thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people change their lives in the past month through TikTok affiliate. They've been doing crazy numbers. And I will, I will say this myself. I know affiliates that have made more money than brands, like just doing affiliate lives, affiliate videos. They've made 200, 400, 500 grand in sales for a brand. The brand doesn't do anything. And this may be good, right? They're making a good commission, whatever, right? 
if we can get affiliates to do the same thing for us, we essentially don't have to make any content whatsoever. Now, you probably might be thinking, okay, so we're supposed to send out samples, spend money on this, and maybe the videos might flop. Exactly wrong. You want to go ahead and make videos yourself, get that video to blow up, and then other people will say, hey, this guy blew up and made a bunch of money, or the video blew up. They're going to see it as a golden opportunity. Then it's going to catch on in a snowball effect, and this affiliate is going to say that promote this product. Obviously, just have a good commission rate. You don't have to send out samples. I'd say around 40% commission to start off with. And then from there, you can go ahead and decrease it over time as sales start rolling in. That being said, that's exactly how you do it. And I've already talked about everything else. Now through lives, like I said, we don't have a name brand product and I do not suggest doing this on a live unless you have a actual name branded product such as, you know, private label or, you know, everything else. If you're an actual established brand with hundreds of thousands of dollars, then you can go ahead and go on a live, hire somebody to do it for you. That being said, that's kind of exactly how you do that. It's very easy to hop into and TikTok shop and TikTok shop affiliate is definitely changing lives. Now, I personally think one of the most important parts about actually succeeding in any online business is having a community around you. So I'm personally in this um, TikTok mastery, uh, you know, Discord server. It personally has uh, affiliates. It has dropshippers in here. It has a really good amount of people. As you guys can see, um, let's just see. This is an affiliate right here. This guy has made $100 in his day two. Day two is insane. So it's absolutely amazing. There's other people that are making grants upon thousands here. This guy made $3,000 yesterday off TikTok affiliate, but look at it here. They've made $25,000 in sales. So let's just say they're getting 10% of this, 10% of 30,000 or at least like 8%, whatever, right? 25,000 minus the 3000 commission that they're paying them. You're left with $22,000 in sales. If you're doing, let's say a 30% profit margin, you are profiting six grand. They're profiting three you're going to make double the money. So essentially TikTok shop is a pretty good way. It's a little bit harder, but I will say going through a server like this, having people to talk to, and essentially I'm in there as well. So if you want to go ahead and get started, there's a three day free trial down below in the description down below. And I absolutely love the server. They also share trending, trending topics, um, trending products. You can go ahead and, you know, there's a weekly group call, obviously talk with everybody to make sure that we're all getting money together. That being said, everybody, I want to go and tell you that's exactly how to do TikTok shop drop shipping. I don't really talk much about it. I don't really do a whole lot of it. But if you want more videos on this, go ahead and comment yes down below in the comment section. That being said, you all have an amazing day, and I'll go ahead and see you guys later. Peace out.